Good morning, everybody. It's Emily from Red Hound Reiki. Just going to do a quick, um, I guess, check-in reading for today, which is August the 15th of 2018. Um, I do intend that if you see this reading at any other time, that you'll receive some kind of message from it so that um, synchronistically you are selecting a reading that is going to resonate with you at whatever time. Um, this is the general energy that I'm picking up for today. So if it does not resonate with you, it's not for you. So don't try to force it to fit, to fit your life. Um, <clears throat> sometimes people do that and they become very anxious about situations. So if this doesn't feel right for you, it probably isn't for you. This is a collective reading, which means potentially millions of people. Um, <clears throat> so to get started, it looks like today people are really reevaluating certain partnerships, and that can be any kind of partnership. We have the Two of Cups here, um, which is essentially two people uh, who have come together with matching um, matching cups. They ha have similar ideas or similar goals or um, are resonating with each other in some way. This is often a romantic relationship, but it is frequently not. It frequently can be a business partnership or just a really close friendship. Um, anything really, any kind of relationship where you're relating to another person and you hook in with them and you're like, wow, they really resonate with me. We have a lot in common, etc." So there are going to be some of those things that um, are coming up for you for evaluation and um, taking a look at the role they play in your life, uh, how they affect you, what you've been giving up to them, how you've been giving up your power uh, to that person, if you have been giving up your power. Um, and it really looks like a lot of you are deciding which relationships need to stay and which need to go. Um, and you're evaluating them or you should evaluate them based upon uh, truth, based upon your truth, not anyone else's truth or anyone else's idea of what it is um, to be in this kind of partnership. Again, uh, whether it's a business um or a personal relationship, a family member even. And um, with the Queen of Swords, you may be making the decision to remove people from your life, or you might be just making the decision to move them to arm's length, to um, really uh, balance that relationship out. Because the Queen of Swords is very open and honest and fair and just, but she is not afraid to make that cut when when it's needed. Um, so if you have, for instance, an employee who's overstepping their bounds, you might be reevaluating that person's role right now or making the appropriate changes or discussing with them ways in which they need to change. Um, if it is a romantic partnership, you might be reevaluating how much you are giving to that relationship versus how much they are giving, how much they're taking from you. And if it's a family member, um, you might be evaluating, again, how much you're giving to that relationship versus how much they're taking, um, how much you let them get away with simply because they are your mother, father, sister, brother, etc., and really taking a step back and looking at it in terms of being equals uh, as human beings and um, understanding that it is appropriate for you to give, but you also have to receive in order to be able to continue to give. Um, with judgment sitting here, I feel like there are a lot of tough decisions coming up that um, may or may not require you to remove or perhaps um, resituate someone in your life. But the important thing is that with judgment here, it means that you've 
you already know that this is an issue. You already know this is happening um, and that it is bringing you to a place of balance and it's bringing you forward on your life path. Um, I know I speak of things in terms of life path all the time instead of, you know, super detailed information. But to me, honestly, the only reason we're here is to be on our life path. So if you take a look, a broader look, like the Queen of Swords would do at the situation and you make decisions based on where you need to be in your life path, what moves you forward, what moves you toward um, the mission that makes you feel good. And you might not know what that mission is, but you can always tap into your, again, your heart space to evaluate what it is that makes your heart expand and what it is that makes it contract. Contracting is fear, and that doesn't mean that um, what makes you fearful isn't what you need, because sometimes we don't like what it is that we need, but you need to evaluate whether you're reacting in fear or whether um, you're making an honest assessment that somebody needs to either be removed from your life or maybe seen in a different light um, or their role in your life needs to be reevaluated or changed. So that is um, what's going on for today. The two Oracle cards I pulled are Pay Attention to Your Dreams from the Archangel Michael deck. And um, essentially, you may be um, having dreams that are bringing up certain things. And what often happens in dreams is you might not directly dream about the situation, but you might have a dream which is... Um, symbolic of what you're going through. So think about the dreams that you've had. If you remember them, write them down in the morning. If you can keep a journal by your bed and then read them as if they were a short story and, um, think about what the symbols might mean to you personally. Everything in the dream is the dreamer. So you have to interpret your dreams specifically through your own lens. You can't really look up symbols, to find out what they mean because they all are going to mean something spe specific to you. So um, think about it in terms of reading them through your own lens and evaluate the feelings that you get from certain things. Like if nothing else, then what feeling did it give you? And uh, you may be able to, to decipher it that way. The next Oracle card is Irene, peace. There's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So even though we're going through this period of reevaluation um, with the judgment card here, it is all for your highest and best good. It's to put you in the positioning that you need to be in for you to be victorious. Um, in your current state, in your mission, and everything's going to be okay. It's important to keep that mindset and to keep your vibration high, to continue to attract in positive things that are going to help you um, resonate with more and more positive things in the near future and farther future. But the reality is that whatever you're going through now, with judgment here, a major arcana, this is... Uh, faded events. This is stuff that you were going to go through and need to go through in order to resolve um, and balance your own energy in this lifetime. And it will be balanced. It will be okay. Uh, and detaching from that drama like the Queen of Swords would do is one of the most important things you can do right now. So to recap, we're reevaluating partnerships. We're understanding that the challenges we're going through right now are building um, uh, our own character kind of, and we're balancing things in our life and we're viewing things through the eyes of, um, fairness and detachment and, um, a common goal of reaching truth and, um, balance and honesty. Okay. I hope this is helpful for some of you today. You can always email me at emily at redhoundreiki.com or visit my website, redhoundreiki.com to book a reading. I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.